hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we are going to be adding some error handling logic to this backend call that is fetching here a page of lessons. First, let's simulate what would happen if an error occurred. We are going to head over here to our server implementation and we are going to force the random occurrence of an error. Let's then see here in our server file what express route is handling here the fetching of lessons. You can see here that it's the search lessons route that is available here also in the server folder. So let's go ahead and simulate here an error. We can see that we already have here some code that will help us to simulate the error that we are looking for. So we are going to go ahead and uncomment here this logic and let's review the error generating logic together. So as you can see, we are creating here an error flag that is randomly either true or false. So there is a 50% flag will have either value. If the error is set to true, then we're going to log this to the server console saying that there was an error searching for lessons. And we're going to send back to the browser an HTTP status code of 500 internal server error and some JSON error payload. On the other hand, if the error did not occur, then we're going to go ahead and fetch the page of lessons as usual and send it back to the browser. In order to apply this new logic, let's switch here to the terminal and let's stop our server and we are going to now start it again using npm run server. Now we have a server version up and running that randomly emits errors. Let's see what this looks like. We are going to go over here to a new page. Let's go ahead and refresh everything. And we are going to select here the network tab so that we can see the error occur. Let's then switch here to the view course page. As we can see, the error occurred the first time that we clicked on this page. So we have here a request in error 500 internal server error. And this is as expected, but you might be surprised to notice that if you go back here to the courses page and you click here on view course again, this time around, we are already here in this error situation. And more than that, a second request was not created. So if we go back here and we go forward, we only have here one failed request and not several failed requests. If we switch course again, it's the same thing. We are going to see that we are still in the same error situation. So what's going on here? Because we might expect to see here other requests being made, other attempts to load lessons data. This is happening because of the way that we have defined here our effect. When this effect errors out due to an error coming here from the backend, this observable here is going to terminate in error and no more actions are going to be intercepted by this effect. This effect is by all intents and purposes disabled. It's like it was never defined. So the first time that it errors out, no more values will be emitted. The only way to make it work again would be to reload the application. Let's then go ahead and try to fix this by adding here a catch error block. So we're going to add here the catch error operator. We are going to take the error and here is what we're going to do first. We are going to start by logging the error here to the console. So let's just add here a console.log saying error loading a lessons page. Next, we are going to add here some error handling logic that is going to hide the loading indicator from the user. So in order to do that, we are going to dispatch here the lessons page canceled action. Let's then go ahead here and call store.dispatch and let's pass it a new instance of lessons page cancelled. So with this, we have dispatched the action that in its reducer logic is going to take care of hiding the loading indicator. Let's implement that reducing logic. We're going to select here from course action types, the lessons page cancelled action type. And here we are going to return a copy of the state and we are going to set the loading flag here to false. Let's add here a bit of formatting to this reducer. And with this, we have completed the implementation of the lessons page cancelled action. Now, what would happen here at the level of the course effects is that the store got dispatched, but 
we still need to fix this error here. We need to return here an observable that should emit some value that will replace the normal lessons value that is being thrown here by the find lessons backend call. So first we would move this mapping block here after catch error and here we would emit here an observable that would emit the empty array so we did not manage to get any lessons from the backend but let's then show to the user an empty list so in order to implement that we are going to use the rxjs off operator and we're going to emit here the empty array at this moment we might think that we have finished the implementation of our error handling logic but that is actually not the case let's go ahead and switch here to a larger window and we're going to see that this is not yet working as one would expect let's switch here to the state view and we're going to open here the course landing page let's see if the error gets triggered so we were lucky we can see that we got here a lessons page cancelled event meaning that an error occurred we can see that the loading indicator was hidden from the user and we can see that we are displaying here an empty lessons list. The problem is that now our effect is broken. It has emitted its last value, the empty array, and it has completed. So this effect will no longer work unless we reload the application. If we go back here to the main menu and we go back here to view course we're going to see that now we dispatch the action that turned on the loading indicator but a request was never made to the backend even though no data is available here in the store so what happened here exactly and how can we fix this the problem is that the catch error block that we wrote is not in the correct place so there is no way to recover this observable here what we want to recover is the observable that gets returned from the backend call itself if this observable here this inner observable emits an error then we want to apply the error handling logic and continue the outside observable chain with the empty array lessons value so let's go ahead and apply our catch error block but this time around we are not going to apply it here in the main effect observable chain we are going to instead apply here the error handling logic to the observable that is getting returned here from this backend call so we're going to apply here the pipe operator and we're going to apply here our error handling logic at the level of our inner observable let's then go ahead and try out this new error handling logic to see if this is now working as expected so we are going to create here a couple of new pagination events until we get an error so now we were lucky we got here the two pages of this course let's then switch here to another course in order to try to trigger here an error so now we got the error if we scroll down here the action list we are going to see that we have here lessons page cancelled but now if we go back here to the main menu and we retry this same page we're going to see that this time around our effect is still working and our page was correctly loaded as expected so this is the error handling logic that we are looking for we don't want that a single error coming from the backend to completely disable our effect we want the errors to be handled via this error handling logic here but we want to make sure that our lower lessons page effect is still up and running and does not get accidentally completed 